Ähm, ich glaube, es ist schon mal das Wort Fremdbestimmung genannt worden im Laufe dieses Abends. Und die Sache mit der Fremdbestimmung ist ja, dass es eigentlich so ganz wenig erfasst, weil es ja nicht von einem selbst kommt. Und was passiert dann, ist, dass man Sachen an, an sich selber entdeckt, die man gar nicht mag fremdbestimmt wurden, aber die man dann selber übernommen hat. Und das ist so ganz wie, in, wenn man in einer Beziehung ist, da projiziert man ja immer die Sachen, die man sich selber nicht mag, auf den Partner und dann gibt es ganz fürchterlich viel Ärger. Anyway, das ist eigentlich schon ein Stück, das habe ich jetzt leider nicht geschafft zu übersetzen, das ist schon recht alt, aber es geht nämlich darüber, über die Sachen, die wir als gerade als schwarze Frauen auch übernommen haben von dieser Fremdbestimmung, die wir dann aufeinander projizieren und uns das Leben unglaublich schwer machen. But it's also a homage. Der natural beauties. She said, the other woman called me really fine. Not like ours, not like mine, the right she was, she said. I enjoyed it. Like I did mine and yours, but how tired I was. After years and years, still having to change it to right. Das ist es übrigens nicht. <laughs> she said, sorry, it's nicht, it's, that's why I'm changing it. She said, the other one, real pretty. Meaning that I was not quite. To me, she looked rather uneventful, but never mind. She looked and complained. Say how I behave. Say I must be tame so that I can have a place in high society. I looked at her closely and I said, no. Look at yourself for a minute and tell me where exactly did you go not being yourself? They say they don't like my hair. I must shave my legs, wax every little hair that is there. I did it. And yes, it did feel very light. But still it didn't make me no right. Then there was this one. She always knew better. Everything she said was a fact for that matter. She would tell me, no, you are so wrong. When I was just trying to explain what in my life went wrong, she made her own rules and applied them to the whole world. But funny enough, I never heard how she herself was doing. But I guess when you're so busy telling people what is right, then there isn't much time left for your own life. Then there was this one. She had a big behind. Flesh on her bones and an infectious smile. One day we went to the park, cause we was bored. Sister came up to us and said, you know what, you could be so nice if you just tried a little more. I couldn't help myself. My heart went so. I needed to have my say and corrected her right there. You got it wrong. I am just how I should. And if you'd stop trying so hard, it would be all good. You got it wrong, baby. I'm just fine. Whatever you see here, at least it's purely mine. You got it wrong, sister. You're trying too hard. Instead of so much good advice, I'd rather have a glimpse at your heart. A big up. To them natural beauties. Them afro hair and all them are the goodies. A big up to queen self-esteem. What that pride girl. I respect what you see. A big up to nappy hair and that nose you got. Let me repeat that. A big up to nappy hair and that nose you got. I love your mouth. Especially between the front and the gap. What up now to them black people behind. We all know what I can do for you at night. A big up to your thighs and your bellies and all them problems. Zones. Believe me, baby, they all go really well with your bones. A big up to hairy legs and them shaved behind. Well, whatever suits you, who am I to decide? A big up now and forever to all our beauties. Them light-skinned one and them dark that cuties. Much respect now to Queen Self Esteem. Isn't it lovely? So different, are we?
dem nächsten Stück, äh, das ist auch jetzt das, <lacht> äh, muss ich ein bisschen was sagen. Ich, ja, ich wohne in London und in England werde, werden gerade 200 Jahre der Abschaffung der Sklaverei gefeiert. Ähm, natürlich wurde die Sklaverei da auch nicht abgeschafft, sondern during drought, days crumble. Between hazy resistance and forgotten legacies, there's a violence in the past, like an old bomb, rusty and hidden, left unattended, breeding surprise. Each cell charged with minute information, brighter than the scopes of the sun's rays and more intricate than the formulas of advanced physics. We can figure it out, but we cannot grasp the connection truly. Every cell we model to incident sustained, multiplying in its own big bang. Without witness, we change, get born, rearrange, adjust, and struggle, struggle to cover the distance. Between past and reborn, lies a vast lake of unknown memories floating uncared for. Like Sankofa, we still must travel to regain territory, return to untie hidden bonds, unhook it, reclaim it, and glue it back together. I say unhook it, reclaim it, and glue it back together. I say unhook, reclaim, and glue Get back together. Scrapbook of human evolution. There's a violence in the past. It resonates in many octaves, dissolves in skewed overtones. It snoozes lazy like a cat on a fence in the summer heat. Lazy and unassuming, yet ready to jump. And every move made. Repulsive wars <coughs> cling on the inside of skin, oozing pus from ulcerated attempts of resolution. The damage, not undone, seeps deeper than structures we could ever name. There's a violence trapped within. Brittle the earth which binds us. It runs through our toes like sand and vanishes before its cause can be traced. And in the vacuum left, the muffled sound distorts. And the earth, the earth echoes with dim exasperation. There's a violence in the past. In the center, the vibration is almost impossible to withstand. Playing tug of war in a storm of grand, grand force. Defiance will make it pass. Contriving a halt. Defiance will make it pass. Contriving a halt. Here. <laughs> 